This is Twit. Uh, hi, David. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Welcome to the show. Hello. <clears throat> Your computer's full. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I'm running out of space. And um, I know you you mentioned this program called WinDRI Stat. Yeah, WinderStat, I like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it gave me um, it gave me a bunch of installer files that are still loaded on my computer. And it's taking up about 25 gigabytes. WinDurstat is. Um, yeah. No, WinDurstat's not taking 25 gigabytes. No, 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 not, not WinDurstat, the, the, the installer file oh. when I ran the scan. Oh, I, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm not sure what they mean by installer files, but my suspicion is that's including, this is a common problem, Microsoft's hot fixes. So every time you patch Windows... And as you have been probably for years, uh, there's a new uh, hotfix file saved there, and that can add up to considerable. 25 gigs wouldn't be too much. Okay. So I suspect those are that's what those are, but you can't you can't delete them necessarily because you might need them. Yeah, and that that was my question because um, in Windows status, can you see what the name? Yeah, can you see what the name of the file is? Yeah, yeah, they're they're MSI and MSP files. Yeah, that's well, those are installers. But uh, do the names begin with things like KB two five eight seven nine three four or something like that? Hot, no. That's those are hot fixes. Some are uninstallable. Some are not, and uh, I I would be careful about removing them. Okay. Because. Yeah. yeah, what folder, uh, do, can you see from Winderstat what folder these files are in? Um, I don't have it open. It's not in right? front of you, yeah. So I can't, um, I'm, without more information, I can't tell you you can delete it or not. Uh, I would start with, win, what version of Windows? Uh, this is 7, the one I'm writing right here is 7. All right, so, so there's a disk cleanup utility. You probably, I hope, I would. maybe you've already used it. If you haven't, that's the yeah, first. Yeah, I did all that. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I figured. Because that's not too aggressive. And you don't, frankly, want it to be too aggressive because you don't want to delete something you need. So disk cleanup, for those who don't know, you just uh, hit the start key on Windows, you know, the Windows key, and type D-I-S-K, and it'll show up. And you just hit it and run disk cleanup. And then you can clean up system files. Windows is smart enough to only delete things it knows about. One big one is previous Windows installations, but you probably don't have that since I bet you you bought that system with Windows 7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but if you bought it, if you upgrade to Windows 10, for instance, it'll save the old Windows 7 files, and that is a significant amount of space. The other thing you can do safely is uh, uninstall programs you don't need. And you can do that, of course, from the Programs and Features menu and just walk through it and see if you need everything that's installed there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did everything. But the one question I do have is, have you ever heard of a program called Win Cleanup? Yeah. Okay, so what that does, it lists all the unused files. Basically, what it's supposed to do is list all these files that says they're not being used and you can delete them. You, you scan your computer. So it... When I ran it, it listed all these MSI and MSP ah, files. Okay. It says they're unused files. My question is, you, you know, the truth is, delete. you can delete them. If, really? okay. if you need them, what'll happen, if, what I would do is delete them and immediately run Windows Update. Okay. And it'll download anything that you did need. I don't think it'll break anything. That, that's, that's my concern, because it's definitely going to free up. It, you know, quite a bit because I'm 25 gigs. Yeah, that's enough to keep going for a while. Yeah. So, um, yeah, my big concern was if I delete something, am I going to have to rebuild my operating system or something? Well, like that? that potentially it depends what they are. Uh, remember that when you install a program, most programs have that uninstall feature. That's why they keep the installer around in many cases. That MSI file, which is a Windows installer file, is an uninstaller as well. So okay. if you delete it, you might have to, this is not the end of the world, just re-download that, that installer, that program, and then okay. you can install and uninstall, or sometimes you can go right to uninstall. Um, somebody in the chat room, Twisted Mystery, is saying, there is a f make sure that it is not in a folder, WinSXS. What is that again, Win? WinSSS, it's hard to say, the SXS folder. 
Now, there, there, it's a system folder. It's, uh, it's files that you need for your Windows installation, backups, updates, things like that. It is probably where those hot fixes are stored. It can take up a lot of space, and it's my best guess that that's where all these files are. You, Windows Disk Cleanup will delete unneeded files in that SXS file. That's hard to say, SXX file. Uh, but uh, it will only delete files it knows it doesn't need. To do that, you have to hit the button that says Clean Up System Files. Those are the ones in the... Eh, eh, eh. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, right? Um, yep. But but I think you, I think you probably so here's the, the safe thing is that Windows, you know, built-in Microsoft program. The less safe thing is to use this third-party program and just cross your fingers. In most case, if here's my strong suggestion before you do this, the safest thing would be to make a copy of the folder, but you probably don't even have the space to do that. The next safest thing is just make sure you have a Windows install disk, right, that you can run and repair anything that you accidentally delete. So if the computer if you do this and the computer won't boot, then I would say uh, the, your next path would be to put the Windows installer in and do a repair and I think that that would probably get you back on your feet. So make sure you have a recovery disk. Okay, or make an image, something like that. Image is good too. Hey, if you could do that, that's a great idea. Then you then go ahead and be aggressive because Worst case, you'll be ten minutes away from a from a back to back to where you were before. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, how big is the hard drive? It's um, where is it? For look, hold on one second. It is um, a hundred and seven gig, or uh, that's what it's showing that I have. Hundred and seven gigs total. That's that, that's what it's saying. Free on my C drive. Oh, that's free. Um, well, that's enough free to live. But uh, yeah. You can. You, what my point being, you can get a bigger drive, pretty cheap, and swap it in if if this becomes an issue again. Drives are big and inexpensive. 